In this presentation, we will take a look at and set up free Sage 50 Cloud test drive. So get ready because we're about to engage with Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Note that the free demo version for Sage 50 Cloud is a little bit hidden. So we're going to go into that a bit in the future. I first want to start off with just looking at the Sage homepage and the products within it. So we're currently at the homepage. That's at sage.com, S-A-G-E.com, sage.com, S-A-G-E.com. Here's going to be the products. If I select the products download or the products item here, we can see the products that are available. And note, there's kind of like a suite of products. It's useful to be familiar with the products within Sage because Sage can be thought of as kind of a step up from some other type of software. So if you're familiar with Sage, it could look good to talk to other people within the accounting field or to have something on your resume uh, with Sage. Might be useful to compare and contrast Sage with uh, QuickBooks because they have like a parallel. They've both been around for a while and you can compare their, their history. And most, a lot of people are very familiar with QuickBooks or at least know the name of QuickBooks and you compare and contrast Sage with it. Uh, note that uh, it used to be QuickBooks was a desktop version and now they have the online version. So you can see that difference desktop and online. And we know that Sage had a desktop and online. The desktop version used to be known as Peachtree. So Peachtree uh, and QuickBooks, we both had the desktop. There was no online version at some point in time. It used to be thought that it used to be when QuickBooks first came into the market, they were really aiming at the small company. So the small company market and part of the, the idea of the draw was that they're going to take away some of the accounting terminology really and make their software not, you know, you don't need to know as much about debits and credits it was kind of like the angle. And then on the on these uh, feature, at least this is my feeling of it, obviously, this is my interpretation. And then Peachtree was thought up to be more of an accounting kind of software that was usually aiming towards the middle to higher end markets. And they did use the terminology of things like debits and credits. So they're kind of more uh, accounting based or, or, you know, they would use more of the terminology. Now there's pros and cons to that, to using the terminology and not, but that's kind of the, the idea. So at that point in time, then uh, the peach tree was probably thought of in like the accounting world on a resume or something. It's a more higher end kind of, of software. So if you had familiarity with it, it was probably you know, carry a different kind of weight uh, than, than the QuickBooks at that point in time. And part of that perception just has to do with the size of the market, the mid-size versus the small size. Peachtree was kind of concentrated on the mid-size versus the small size. Now, obviously since then, Intuit has, has picked up and taken up a lot more of the, the mid-size market and made the online. Now we have the cloud-based things. QuickBooks and Intuit within QuickBooks, the owner of QuickBooks Intuit, has put in a lot of time for that cloud-based and they're a leading uh, area within basically the cloud-based uh, accounting software. And so now at this point in time, you can kind of see they both have basically a cloud-based and then the desktop kind of base, right? You've got, so QuickBooks now has the desktop version and they have the cloud-based version. Now, when you think about QuickBooks, you, it feels like they're really putting all their time into the cloud version. You know, it starts to feel like, well, they, are they just gonna abandon the, the desktop version. Now, I don't think they can do that. The desktop version is still very popular and has a lot of pros. So there's pros and cons to each uh, each item. But clearly it seems like they're they're really going into the full cloud. They're kind of looking at the full cloud as a separate item that, and the desktop is gonna be separate from that. So that seems to be where the attention is on uh, the QuickBooks side of things. On the Sage side of things, obviously the the uh, desktop version switched over from Peachtree basically to the Sage, uh, Sage 50 Cloud, and then they, they have the accounting version as well, which is the cloud base. This is the full cloud base. Now, their marketing, they seem to be putting more of their time, so it kind of feels like this. Again, they, they're putting a lot of time into the cloud base as well. They have a very good uh, cloud based software, but it feels like they put a lot of time into the Sage 50, which is more like the desktop version. Now, again, they're going to say it, when you say it's a desktop version, they're going to say it's, well, it's, a, it's the best of both worlds. It's desktop and has online features. In other words, the, the idea is that it's got the, the pros of a desktop version, which means that it's got some of the pros of being on the actual server, being able to back up the system and whatnot, and the pros of an online, which is the idea that you can access it uh, securely and remotely. But in essence, it, this one, it seems more like it's built off, this is built more off of the platform of the desktop version. And this one is basically a whole new platform, you know, similar to, to Intuit, which is an online uh, based service. So you can compare and contrast and see, see what the two items are doing. 
just note that when you look at a, a resume and whatnot, it still would kind of feel like if you're familiar with the Sage base that it might carry some more weight depending on the type of companies you're, you're dealing with if you have familiarity with the Sage. Now the Sage has, has the cloud-based software here, similar to Intuit, so you can go in here, this would be the full cloud base. And then we're thinking about the Sage 50, which is actually a, kind of a step up with, with Sage. It's a more expensive, basically, software, and it's one that could, could step up in, into uh, higher levels if there's more customization that would be needed. So if we go into the Cloud 50 then, take a look at it. And then if I scroll on down here, we'll just take a look at the options. So you can, you can look through their, their video here, and again, they're gonna basically advertise the remote access on, on kind of a desktop ver version. So they're basically act, uh, advertising the best of both worlds, a cloud-based and uh, a, a ground-based or desktop kind of base item. So then we have the pro accounting, the premium, uh, the premium accounting, and the quantum accounting. And you'll note the prices here are up uh, higher than most of the full cloud-based systems. So it's, you know, at the $50.58 and the 78 for the for there, and then the one uh, 97 the users being one of the items that are, are increasing the price now if we go down we have the the features involved here we have we have the account for the revenue manage expenses pay bills uh, in an instant effortless uh, invoicing of customers uh, reconcile financial with your bank automatically uh, secure remote access for employees and accountants so that's going to be one of the the big features you know you got that remote access even though it's going to be kind of uh, more of a desktop version. So that's going to be one of the key components there. Then we have the effective inventory tracking and management. So obviously inventory is one of those kind of advanced type of things that uh, software is, you know, if you need to track inventory, you often need to have more complex software. Smart integration with Microsoft Office 350. I think this is a, a really key feature here as well. So if you're a mid-sized business, you probably have the Microsoft uh, uh, 365 and uh, and you may you may need want your database here of course on the on the accounting side of things to be integrated with some of the features on the Microsoft Office 365 so that to me could be a, a key feature as well depending on on your needs and then the job costing so we've got the job costing here and then we go past uh, the, the the basic version or the pro accounting to the premium uh, as we go past that which the job costing by phase and cost level, so if you have more complex, basically job costing systems, probably longer types of projects, trace transactions and track down errors with automatic trials and advanced budgeting tools. So note here that I won't go through all the all the information, but just note that there's no free, they don't really advertise their free uh, demo version here. So uh, if you wanna look at the free demo version to kind of test this stuff out, and I do recommend doing it because because it is a software that uh, it's worth being familiar with. So I'm gonna go over to, the, to Google here to do our search. And if you ser search for Sage 50 accounting software free trial or something like that, this will be the most you know direct search. Uh, in Google or your favorite browser should find it as well. We have here Sage 50 accounting software free trials. So I'm gonna go into that item. And so here we have it. So wanna give Sage 50C a try. So our test drive is an awesome way to experience just how easy it is to manage your business finance using Sage 50C. With the online uh, integrate test drive, you can experience the Sage uh, 50 using built-in simple companies uh, and data. You can also enter your own sample data, but it cannot be saved when you exit. So we're gonna give that a try. We're gonna go to uh, try it uh, free now. So that's what we want, that's what I like that. We're gonna give that a try for free. So then we're gonna enter our information. For What you wanna do at this point is go to the test drive button right here and continue forward. What you don't wanna do, is, which is what I did at first, is to go down below and fill out and populate the information down below. This is if you want more guidance apparently down below. And if you want the test drive, then you continue on to this button right here. So you wanna select the test drive button. Then you'll have kind of a standard type of request page that you can fill out. No uh, credit card information or payment information necessary. Once submitted, we'll get the message here, which will say, thank you for your interest in Sage 50 cloud accounting. Please check your inbox with a link to test the test drive experience. Once we open up that email, we see the start test drive. And if you click on the link or hyperlink to that, you're going to get the Sage 50 Cloud Accounting. Welcome to your Sage 50 Cloud Accounting test drive and then and get started. So let's do that. Let's go to the get started. 
It'll take a little bit of time for the test drive uh, setup process to work, but next we will have the information that will be installed. They say around 30 seconds, and then here's gonna be our information, the Sage 50 Cloud Accounting Software. The next thing I'm gonna do is copy this URL. So I'm gonna go to the URL up top, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna put it into uh, a Word document. So I can always go back to it then. So I'm gonna put it into my Word document here, and then whenever I go back into this just to uh, test drive the Sage 50, I'm gonna to go to this URL, and that's one way that we can get back into uh, the test drive file. That's gonna be it for now. Let's get out of here.